Hi, this is Tim with In Control, and we recently had a question about how to test Danfoss VFDs um, with alarms. So how to get the uh, drive to generate an alarm so you can verify the performance at the front end. And so one of the ways we recommend is if you just want to generate a generic alarm from the drive, you can pick any of the open uh, input terminals across the terminal strip uh, 18, 19, 27, 29 usually input 29 is a digital input and it's open uh, on both on regular drives and drives with bypass and so what we're going to do is we're going to change that input from uh, no function change it to an external interlock uh, external interlocks are usually used for things like duct smoke detectors and freeze stats and that sort of thing um, in order to clear the alarm, you'd have to have a jumper there. So if there's no jumper, when we change input 29 to an external interlock, the drive is automatically going to go into alarm. So the way we do this is we verify the open input. Uh, in this case, 29 has nothing connected to it. We're going to push the main menu button, and we're going to go down to the input and output section, which is Chapter 5, Digital I.O., Scroll down to 5-1 star digital inputs. And we see 5-10, 11, 12. 5-13 is terminal 29 digital input. Right now it's set for no operation. Sometimes you might also see it set for jog. Um, the important thing is just to verify that the input is open here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit OK and change this to number seven, external interlock. Now, as soon as I hit OK here, what you'll see is the drive immediately goes into external interlock alarm 60. You can see the alarm lights on, and I don't know if you could hear it or not, but there was a, a audible click when the alarm relay clicked over. Uh, if you're connected to BACnet, you should see alarms here as well. Uh, when you're done verifying that the you can see the alarm, go ahead and push main menu again. It'll probably still be on the last parameter that you changed, which is 5-13. If not, scroll back down to 5-13 again. Hit OK. Change the 7 back to 0, no operation. When I hit OK here, after a few seconds, the drive should reset. There it goes. So the alarm start blinking. If it doesn't reset after a few seconds, it means your drive is not set to automatically reset, in which case you need to manually push the reset button. Uh, and that, then your test is done. Push status to get you back to the top menu. Return the drive to automatic service um, and return the system back to service. Thanks.